Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. This channel is for education and technology. So yesterday I shared the step development of the uh, body mechanics of the Wing Chun 1850, the short strike Wing Chun of the Red Bull. And it focused on the functional training using today's language. And this morning, I woke up, I saw there are many messages from our Wing Chun friends sent to me. Guess what they say? Well, the uh, common denominator is to congratulate me that I have a, a authentic old uh, lineage. And some say, uh, congratulate me that uh, on my lineage research and my cross-reference and uh, many of our friends say oh your Sifu will be proud of you and so forth so forth so forth you know I get pissed that's why I wrote very nasty uh, reply to all those friends. I know they mean good, but I wrote those nasty re uh, reply to them. Why? Because I'm not talking about lineage here. Because this is Wing Chun basic education. Because can we get rid of all those nonsense lineage thinking? Because Wing Chun today is in an edge of vanishing. So we don't have time for all those lineage, my authentic lineage, all those things. Those of you who watch my channel know, years ago, I get rid of the lineage. I have no lineage. That's why when I presenting information here i say that this is the wing chun 1850 this is the uh, wing chun 1960 version i don't want to get into the lineage i don't want to get into all those things oh mine is better than you mine is older than you mine can be cross-referenced what is the point when the key is to understand what is traditional chinese martial art? what is Wing Chun. That is that has to be the bottom line. It is like now in the COVID nineteen time, how to save the people, how to help the people, is priority number one, nothing else. So let me share with you one thing. In Chinese, this is called Guo Huo Jia Wang. Okay. Guo Huo Jia Wang. meaning what? When your country is destroyed, the home is gone. That means if you don't have a country, you no longer have a home. So Wing Chun is much, 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 much more important than any lineage. Without Wing Chun, there is no lineage. Lineage for what? You know all this lineage thinking, it is really toxic and it's really bad, even in Chinese culture, Chinese history. So it is called what? Men Hu Zijian. Lineage thinking. And then under here it says Ge Shi Ge Fa. Oh, every grandmaster have their teaching. Well, we can continue to have all this lineage talk and all this every grandmaster will come up with telling uh, how magical and all this kind of stuff, how they are authentic and so forth. What is the point when we don't even have Wing Chun technology anymore, when we don't even understand what the heck is traditional Chinese martial arts? So, I make this video is to let the entire world know. I careless about all this lineage or that lineage. 
it is really critical that Wing Chun and our people, our young generations, if, if the young generations you don't educate them, then there is nothing left. See, the Chinese say that, you know, uh, as soon as when one dies, one will see one's ancestor, one will gather, you know, back with the ancestor. So, for me, I better get everything clean and do my duty. So, the day I die and see all the ancestors of the uh, of the Wing Chun disregard of who it is, what lineage, at least I can be really clean. Okay? So it is education. It is Wing Chun education. Without that, we don't have future. Don't kid ourselves. Don't talk about this lineage, lineage. For for all the this decades it's always like that lineage my lineage is better than your lineage this lineage this I uh, we do it this way you do it this way my sifu do it this way the entire china even like dr ma li tang in 1930 at that time they want to do a, a, a revolution they want to get rid of all this lineage and all this talk because they know it's toxic at 1930 100 years ago or 90 years ago at that time the traditional Chinese martial is facing the challenge from Japan from Russia okay so at least on the other place I don't know but on this channel I want to keep it clean it is education, it is education. It is for everybody. There is no discrimination of which lineage, which not lineage. But there is a discrimination if one speaking nonsense. Anybody say anything, they should need to be able to show evidence. Not again, oh, kok si kok fat. My teacher say this, the blah, 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 blah. If you want to talk about Yiji Kamen Ma, you better talk about how the ancient Chinese and how the classic is talking about. Not because of, oh, my grandmaster say this, you are no good, I am better because my grandmaster say you, you don't have the cultivation. You need evidence, otherwise you don't have future. Hear it? So, functional training. So this is the impulse momentum, this is the body conditioning, functional conditioning is, is, is here, functional training. You need this. That's why in the Wing Chun Inception, we got this, we map up the D model, the, the, the D model. What for? It is called the Inception is because it is the first step. If we don't get all this handle, all this breathing and all this handle, we don't even know what it is. How do you have a future? When there's no country, there's no home. When we don't even know what is the country. Are we living in mass? So this morning I get ballastic. I don't like this. I know people give me compliment. But what Yikam lineage? Yikam have no lineage. I keep in telling people. Because the red boat have no lineage. I went back to Fatsan, I went back to trace all this thing. There is no lineage. All those group of people with the Hong Sing Chui Lei Fat ancestor is fighting the Qing. They do up uprising in the Fine Jade Association. So what lineage? So, so this is very critical and we need to be really careful without the uh, big picture of the uh, functional training we really do not have a function martial arts face it 
because we know that for, for from the past 450 years the martial technology have get into the three categorization fighting concept of general chi chi kong so the, the like the the bubishi in uh, okinawa karate they have it korean have it so it's been upgraded and we know that because anybody who want to compete or fight in that three categorizations uh, fighting concept one need to condition one's body so the uh, functional training is a must without the functional training you just do tampon for every day a chain pan every day are you serious look at what other people train look at how the jujitsu people train look at how the the uh, the, the uh, mma people train today so so everybody have their momentum everybody have their uh, specific function functional training don't the bjj people roll every day in the ground there's their specific function training how about the thai boxer how about the kyokushin how about the western boxer they have this uh, specific functional training to support their momentum the impose momentum play there is a reality when we don't have this functional training which cover the three categorizations uh, fighting concept which is now mapped into today's where you have the four momentum zone and it's like MMA one practically is not function so why do you think that uh, like the Xi Xiao Tong dare to step on so many traditional Chinese martial arts call it scam fake well because he was trained in the this this type of functional training and they see you don't have it and if you say you want to be proficient in your art disregard of what art you need to be having that specific functional training it is that to get into the profession and the, the, the profession say like western boxing they have their impulse momentum and they have the functional specific functional training to support that and they have the what the neural muscular proficient training and neural muscular proficiency is actually the connectivity of the neural and the muscle the neural synergy with the entire body and they are really specific they're keeping drill 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 so they have they are proficient in western boxing proficient in uh, jiu-jitsu proficient in uh, thai boxing now you look back what profession do you have doing sets so you still can see that many ancient traditional chinese martial arts have hundreds of sets hundreds of sets for example you know yesterday we talked about the dog boxing the dog shaolin dog boxing now we look into the moto moto have hundreds of sets and you can look into the hundreds of sets they are actually training it is a part of their functional training and they they are proficient with that because they develop their their neural muscular proficiency what is the proper way to for example to do motor and then what is the profession c developed by all this keeping drilling 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 keeping until 
you, who, the guy who is good at it, even in their sleep, they can do it. Don't all the Kyokushin doing that? Don't all the, uh, the Western boxer doing that? They have that proficiency. That is Kung Fu. Proficiency is Kung Fu. Without that, there's nothing there. So today I share this with you because Wing Chun is crying out loud. Because if we continue to all this lineage and all this, my grandmaster say this, that, 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 that. You can see like, uh, just, just take a look like for example, Kyokushin. Kyokushin guy. Kyokushin guy 20 years ago and Kyokushin guy today. You see how they are training in proof. How they evolve more content in, more uh, functional training. Why is all this, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, 100 men uh, sparring? When you get a, a black belt, you need to spar this much people, this, this many people. Well, there's all endurance tests with their functional training, within their func uh, specific functional training. So any Kyokushin go up, to, to, to the fight, they fight their way. Same with Western boxing. Now, how about Wing Chun? Like movie? That's why again, that's why Xi Xiao Dong, he can see traditional Chinese martial transparent. Because no, you don't have that training. So this is to share with you, please, please, please do not ever, ever congratulate me have uh, what kind of lineage and, and, and all kinds of stuff. Lineage, I don't give anything on it. What I give anything is, is that if I die tonight, I better be able to face my, my Sifu until Yi Wing Wing Chun, the, the, the I will found the Wing Chun. Am I clean or am I not? And also the future generations. Where are you going? Where are we going to put them if we mislead them? When the world is progressing really fast. Look at the Western boxer. Look at the Kyokushin fighter. Look at the Thai boxer. Look at the BJJ player. Where are we stand? So, please do not message me on lineage and don't ask me on the lineage. Technical, I'm okay, but not those lineage. Because when we don't know Wing Chun, what to talk about with lineage?